Good morning, dear children. Welcome to today's English class. Dear children, I am sure you all love going for picnics with your family and friends. And you must be missing that these days. So to cheer you up, today we will read an interesting lesson named A Picnic. And in this lesson, children go for a picnic to a musical garden. So open your English reader at page number 73. Lesson 20, A Picnic. Let's read the new words first. Picnic, musical, boats, whole, brave. Let's start the lesson. Children go to a lake for picnic. Children say, Ah, this is a musical garden. Look at these. These birds are singing. Those are talking. Sparrow says, Parrot, parrot, see these girls, they are happy. Parrot says, Those boys go to the lake. They sit in those yellow boats. Sparrow says, These girls have balloons. The balloons are big. Look in, you can look at the picture also, Bitter. You can see the girls. The girls are playing with balloons. And you can see those boys also. Boys are sitting in boats. Parrot says, Look at these crows. They prick the balloons. Sparrow says, Oh, these girls are sad. Look at the picture. The crows are pricking the balloons. And the girls are sad. Next page, Peter. <coughs> Parrot says, Look at those boats. Those yellow boats have holes. The water is inside the boats. Those boys shout for help. Sparrow says, These girls run to the lake. They have a rope. Parrot says, Those two boys swim. Sparrow says, those boys hold the rope. The girls pull out the two boys with the help of the rope. Now they are out of the lake. The girls are brave. Parrot says, the boys are happy. <clears throat> so now look at the picture. Two of the boys know how to swim. So they are swimming. And the other two, they are holding the rope. And the girls are pulling the rope. They are pulling out the rope and the boys are safe. All the boys are safe now. Let's start the question answers now. Let's discuss these answers. Question 1. Where do children go for a picnic? Children go to a musical garden for a picnic. Who sit in question B? Who sit in yellow boats? The boys sit in yellow boats. Question C. Who prick the balloons? Yes, the crows prick the balloons. Question D. Who shout for help? Yes, the boys shout for help. Question 5. Question E. Who are brave? The girls are brave. Move to page number 75 now. <coughs> Fill in the blanks with the help of words given in the help box. So, better in this question you have a help box and there are six words in the help box. And then you have six fill-ups also. So, you have to pick up the correct word and fill it in the blank. Like children, uh, okay, let's read the words which are there in the help box. Picnic, holes, brave, crows, girls, boats. So let's read the first fill up. Children go to a lake for a dash. So we will write here picnic. Children go to a lake for a picnic. Next sentence. 
the boys sit in a yellow dash so we will write here the boys sit in the boys sit in yellow boats so uh, likewise to the rest of the fillers move on to question number 3 now read the given words and place them in their respective columns children in this yellow box you have 10 words uh five of these words are one in number and five of the words are many in number so you have to pick up the words and write them in correct column the words which show one in number write them under one and the words which denote many numbers write them under many for example balloon balloon means one balloon so write it under one under that we can see crows crows means more than one crow so write it in many girls that means more than one girl so write it in many under girls we can see one parrot the word parrot is a singular word so write it in ones column similarly do the rest of the words in ones column you will write balloon parrot bird boy boat and in many column you will write crows girls sparrows children and ropes so do your work very neatly and carefully it's time to say goodbye take care and keep learning